Does soy cause cancer? This has to be one of the most pervasive beliefs online, and since we have a new systematic review and meta-analysis on the topic, I'm going to talk about it. They included 52 case control and cohort studies with over 861,000 participants from across the globe. Most of the studies also accounted for important variables like smoking, alcohol consumption, total calorie intake, BMI, and education. Overall, higher soy consumption was associated with a 31% lower risk of cancers with significant reductions in gynecological cancers, gut-related cancers, prostate cancer, lung cancer, and multiple myeloma. And each 100 grams of soy products consumed per day was associated with a 23% lower risk of cancer. As for individual soy products, higher tofu consumption was associated with a 28% lower risk and higher soy milk consumption was associated with a 25% lower risk. And notably, as consumption increased, risk seemed to decrease at least up to about 100 grams of tofu per day or about a third of a cup of soy milk per day. However, there were not any statistically significant findings for other soy products like soy paste, miso, and natto, and overall cancer risk based on the available data. However, for total soy consumption as well as tofu and soy milk, the most clear and impressive benefits were seen in case control studies as opposed to cohort studies which are generally considered of higher quality, so just something to keep in mind. But the important takeaway here is that there were no clear sign of harm for any cancer despite what some social media influencers will tell you, and actually the data seems to point towards benefit.